Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a paddle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew about and any of my other crime activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me yourself. out of this one. Should it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, they were all here. On, the worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else.
Let's go, assholes! You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? I, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What, do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no, back please. in line. No! Move. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you didn't! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. Listen, frick boy. If you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. Smell you new fish, and you smell good. Welcome home. Get in. Lights out! And be quiet, assholes! If you know what's good for you. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would've preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. To us, right, you got a deal, motherfuckers. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god. <laughs> sent you here, you guinea bastard, so that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Dago! 
Yeah. Come on. Get your fuck out there, go ass. You and your boyfriend. Oh, my God. Get him. This is going to be easier than the time I shoved a potato Make up your mother's pieces. ass. Yeah. Kill him. Oh, you ain't skinny little there faggots like you for breakfast. You eat faggots for breakfast? Kill him, oh. Kick his ass, O'Neal! Stop his fucking brain! Yeah! Kick his fucking Dago ass! Fight! Fight! Get him! Kick his teeth in! Yeah! Kill him! Tear him a new one, O'Neal! Step back! Okay, Did you hear me? Enough. Break it Get out! Get out of Both here! Move it! Hold. We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neal almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, Counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. What are you tired of? a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice, kid, nice, nice. One. Give me two more of those. All right, one more of you. Shit, that had to hurt. Oh, there you go. You're a fast learner, kid. <laughs> 